So histograms are actually quite simple, but they're just taught so badly that they, they just confuse everybody with this stupid language. What you're being taught at school is, okay, guys, let's talk histograms, class width, frequency density, right in the chat if you're bored of this kind of stuff. Of, guys, just remember this handy formula. Even I can't remember it. It's like frequency divided by class width equals frequency density. You're like, I can't remember that. I hate that formula. Why are you teaching me this crap? It's so annoying. I'm going to teach you histograms. I'm not even going to talk about frequency density. I'm not going to talk about class width. And I'm not going to talk about, I might even, I might mention the word frequency, but I feel like that's okay. Frequency just means number of people. Okay. In a bar chart, the height of the bar tells you how many people are in it. So if this was just a bar chart, this would be the biggest because it's the tallest, then this one, then this one. Everyone gets that, right? Everyone knows how bar charts work. Histograms, the only difference between histograms and bar charts is that it's not the height of the bar that tells you how many people are in it, it's the area. The first step of every histograms question is to just go and find the area of each bar. And by area, I mean base times Height. It's a rectangle. Now, this is how difficult histogram questions actually are. It is finding the areas of rectangles, which most people are okay with. Find the base, find the height, and times them together. And just go through and do it carefully. I'm not even going to read the question. What is the base of this first rectangle? Type it in the chat. 10, 10, 10, 10. You guys have all got it. Right, 10. Every, every single person has got this right. 10. It's not to 10, so it's 10. What is the height? What is the height of this rectangle? Some people saying 1.2, some people saying 1.1. You just got to go through carefully. I think people have jumped into this by going 1.2 because it's up two squares. But does do you really think that's 1.2 if that's 1.5? Just take your time on that bit. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.0. Oh, that does work. Yeah, cool. Okay, nice. So just do that. Just go through it slowly. Get your little pencil out and just mark little things and just go 1.1. 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. So this rectangle, 1.1 is the height and 10 is the width. And all I'm going to do is come down here and just times them. So the answer is 11. What is the width of the second box? Everyone's got that as 10. So the width is 10. What's the height? Stick it in the chat. If you're getting this wrong, you just need to slow down. You just go, right, where's 2.6? Where's 2.7? Where's 2.8? Where's 2.9? Where's 3? All right, just go and mark it out. I would actually really recommend you do this. Now you just read it off. Oh, it's 2.8. There you go. So... Okay, so 2.8 times 10 equals 28. Use your calculator. You literally keep going. So this means there's 11 people in the first box. So I just like to write the number and put a circle around it. Then there's 28. Then there's 28. Okay, I haven't read the question yet, but I've got loads of marks. And I just know from experience that so many people actually then know how to do the next bit.